Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. This is the uh, airport edition of this mountain weather update. First, I'm going to take you into Colorado where we've got a blizzard underway over the eastern plains, mostly east of Denver, but you can see those strong north-northeast winds pushing snow even into the city of Denver, and especially south of Denver, we've seen some accumulation here, but all the roads are closed over the eastern plains of Colorado because of this thing. All right, let me take you into my uh, bullet points here. So let's look down the road a little bit here. California's got some light snow coming in late 1227 and again on 1230 with the potential for some heavier snow on the third and the fourth of the new year. The pattern remains active. The real question in my mind is, do any of these storms hold together once they move out of California or do they all dry up before they get to the interior? And I say the interior, like Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, Colorado right now, very few, if any of these, survive. So any hopes of a New Year's Eve storm system really appears to be going down at this point. My confidence is very low. It just all the precip dries up. Looking at the northeast, you've got rain coming 1227 and 1228 with some potential um, change over to snow on 1229 and 1230 with some light, maybe moderate accumulations. I'll show you what those look like coming up in just a couple of minutes. My next stop is over to water vapor satellite imagery, and we've got a number of different features here. So. This is this retrograding area of low pressure. That's what's really throwing all that wind and snow back through the Dakotas and over the eastern plains of Colorado and out into Nebraska. It is a nasty situation. Um, here's a next storm system that we're moving into the west coast, and there's also another storm system behind that. Let me show you the forecast radar and satellite. So that's a situation by this afternoon. You can still see that that cyclonic backside just nailing eastern Colorado, even parts of uh, eastern Wyoming, Nebraska, the Black Hills of South Dakota. Um, let me advance this into the future. So then it starts to break up by tomorrow morning and the low moves away. Sky's clear in Colorado. Look at the west coast. There's that light snow for Tahoe in 1227, heavier up at Shasta. Here comes the next storm system on 1229, late 1229 into 1230. That's the one that could bring some light to moderate snows to uh, Mammoth and also Tahoe. But look what it does. It totally just dries up by the time it reaches the interior and there's nothing there. Um, that's 1231, so that's New Year's Eve. I mean, there might be some light snow moving uh, north to south in Colorado, but uh, you know, two or three days ago, it looked like there might be something a little juicier moving through the interior. but. Just nothing holding together, unfortunately. All right, let me take you into the jet pattern here. So this is 1229. You can see the next trough swinging into California and the West Coast, that dip in the jet stream. Um, I was hoping a piece of that would make it into the interior for New Year's Eve. It's just not going to happen. So this is 1-4. One, 1-3, one, one, that's that stronger area of low pressure that hits the Sierra. And then that whole trough moves into the interior. And this could be a more significant storm. Let's just see if it holds together for the interior. I mean, that's way out there, though. All right, as far as, as, far as totals go, again, maybe 1-3 to three up on the Continental Divide of Colorado. Cameron Pass, wow. Um, that, it's just a little more of an orographic lift up there on Cameron with this uh, cyclonic curvature on the back side of this low. Um, so we'll see if we can squeeze out that much. Uh, I'm a little optimistic <laughs> with that six, but one to three up on the continental divide. Uh, you have to go up to Whistler to find anything heavier, uh, and you're looking at probably another 10 up there. Uh, Whistler, by the way, has picked up about a foot over the last 48 hours. Okay, here, here's the exciting second period. This is 1229 through 1-4. Look at that heavy snow potential on the third and the fourth in the Sierra, maybe one to two feet potentially up there and some snow could survive if that storm on the 3rd and the 4th uh, makes it into the interior. We could be looking at snow accumulation for Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, and also Colorado. That's a big if. That's a long way out, but that's a possibility. All right, let's go up to the northeast again. It's all rain, 1227 and 1228, and that'll be a change over to some light to moderate snow on 1228 and 1229. Uh, with potentially some accumulation, especially in northern Vermont, northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, northern Maine, potentially moderate, maybe heavy in the case of Sugarloaf and Mount Washington and Sunday River, Jay Peak and Stowe. We'll have to see. Uh, but that's the way it looks, guys, right now. Always appreciate you tuning in here, especially when I'm on the road. Take care and have a great day.